hello guys so today i will show you something very unique this actually I built so this is called ultrasonic uh, levitation machine so these two are the ultrasonic transmitters and like we have internal circuit over here like some ic components lights and terminals so as you can see let me show you a close look so these are the internal components and this is the power jack some capacitors and like some mounting so what is this levitation unit so first of all that you need to understand so what happens like in previous days in ramayana and mahabharata like uh, many people used to say like arjun was flying in the sky and some other goddesses were flying in the sky and like it is very hard to believe like how a human can fly right so it's not actually uh, ingenuine but first we need to understand the concepts of physics so in physics like there are multiple concepts so anything invisible that we don't see generally we don't believe it but yes electromagnetic waves do exist apart from that different kind of radio frequencies exist microwave exist 5g exists so these are something invisible in nature we never see how the mobile is communicating with your wi-fi network but indirectly it is communicating right those are the frequencies which is in invisible to our eyes and those frequencies if i correlate they are nothing but a different form and sources of energy using which it is vibrating different molecules of the air and it is propagating the energy or trans transferring the energy that is how like this entire thing operates so i want to show you that uh, i have couple of beads over here these are some thermocol beads as you can see very uh, tiny little thermocol beads and these thermocol beads i want to float it in air right now they are in my hand but i want to float it in air but how do we do it so for that i will be utilizing the power of your ultrasonic levitation so for which i have devised this particular machine so once i power it up automatically it will start emitting ultrasonic waves and this will also start emitting ultrasonic waves and there will be interfering points of ultrasonic waves those interfering points will create a pocket so that is a electromagnetic void pocket in which any kind of thermocol ball that if you place that will automatically be held inside the pocket if you change the frequency the ball will go up if you lower the frequency the ball will come down without any kind of a contact you can raise up and raise down so this simple device will show you and prove that concept of magnetic levitation ultrasonic levitation so using this like you will have a understanding that yes things can fly using anything which is invisible and that is true and whatever we have read might be related with this because like the history is ancient and technology is ancient so we never know like how skillful they were and how they implemented the things so it might sound out to be ramayana to be myth that somebody is flying high without anything but no that is true because today i will show you that same thing with thermocol balls so let's begin so as you can see this is the levitating unit and this is a complete uh, void area as i can show you so these are the transmitters and we have a transmitter over here so both are transmitting ultrasonic waves that you can see and i have a power jack over here so i will connect it with the power first so let's do it so i connected with power you can see in the back like the light is glowing up so now let's begin the actual process and let us show you that how magnetic levit a ultrasonic levitation is working practically so let me do a quick focus over here okay so what i have did i have just prepared up a small net kind of a thing so i will place beads over here 
and insert it into this area so that it automatically fits into the pockets that which I described. So let's begin with one of the bead first. So I just placed one of the bead over here and now slowly I'm trying to insert it into one of the pocket. As you can see like the bead is floating and there is nothing over there. So if I just cross it so nothing is there. So these are ultrasonic waves which are creating that void pocket. So now let me show you in more interesting way. So as you can see let me introduce one bead. So introduced with one bead, try to introduce another one. Let's see. You see, now two beads are floating. Let's introduce a third one. Let's see if we can make it into the pocket. Yes, so let's elevate the lower bead. So you see, now three beads are floating completely. So this is how like the void pockets are getting created. Now I will show you a close look of this one so that you don't think like this is not real. But yes, this is like this. Completely floating. And if I just show you that there is nothing in between them, right? But they are floating. So this is called the concept of ultrasonic levitation. That you are levitating any object using just waves. So if a thermocol ball can be raised without anything just with waves if the waves are more stronger then we can lift humans any object as well that is not at all a problem so i would say like you should believe or at least have respect that yes whatever we have read in ramayanas might be true and they were technologically more advanced than us thanks for watching the video bye bye